Today we are making an epic appetizer, smoked armadillo eggs. In order to make these better than anybody else, we are going to be smoking our cream cheese. Today we are using Holy Gospel for our seasoning. Start off by getting a nice coat on the top of the cream cheese and then get some action on all of our edges as well. Flip the cream cheese onto a piece of foil, exposing the side that is not seasoned. Take a knife and score the cream cheese. The cream cheese is gonna naturally split, so if we don't do this, it'll look really ugly. I like to go diagonal both ways across the cream cheese, and then do not forget to get some more seasoning on this after it is scored. What's up, you guys? Welcome to the outside of my house, because today we're filming and it's not raining. If you've never smoked cream cheese before, it tastes absolutely amazing. The best way to do it, super smoke mode, go to the the lowest setting that you have on your smoker, fire it up. Today we're gonna be using some hickory pellets. All we gotta do is just toss it in there, let it sit for one hour. Our smoked cream cheese has been in the super smoke mode for one hour now. Let's go ahead and open up our smoker. Take a look at how these beauties are looking. They're starting to split apart real nicely. I'm sure they've sucked in a ton of smoke. Seasoning looks great. Let's get it inside and make our mixture. Today we are making two types of armadillo eggs. One will be regular flavor and one is gonna be spicy. For our regular regular armadillo eggs, we will be using Jimmy Dean's regular sausage, some mild cheddar cheese, and some smokehouse charred ends barbecue sauce. For our spicy armadillo eggs, we will be using Jimmy Dean's hot sausage, pepper jack cheese, and this spicy barbecue sauce from Stubbs. All the other ingredients that we are using today will be the same. I just listed the ones that are the variables from the two different flavors. To make our spicy filling, we are gonna be grating a nice fat cup of some pepper jack cheese. Now we'll be mixing together our smoked cream cheese and our shredded pepper jack cheese. This is easiest to do when the cream cheese is softened, so if you're in a hurry and don't smoke your own cream cheese, make sure it's softened. Once it is mixed together, we're gonna hit it with a little bit more holy gospel. Now on to making our regular mixture. This process is the exact same, just with different cheeses. Then we're gonna mix together our smoked cream cheese and our shredded cheddar cheese thoroughly and blast it with some holy gospel and give it a nice little mix. Now we're on to prepping our jalapeno. We wanna cut the top off of the jalapeno, and then we need to take the core out of the jalapeno without slicing it in half. We wanna keep the jalapeno whole to help keep the shape of the egg. So the easiest way to do this is to take a butter knife or the back of a spoon and insert it into the jalapeno and press it along the wall of the jalapeno and work your way around until you can remove the core. Then I scrape the knife to break up any loose seeds and bits in there, and then I hit the jalapeno with the knife, tap it to make some vibration, knock out, all of those loose seeds. Then we're gonna take our mixture and begin to fill the jalapeno. And you wanna make sure that you stuff this in there really tight so that way each bite is filled with some cheesy goodness. Right now, I'm just gonna show you how to make one of these armadillo eggs. If you decide to use the regular ingredients, use those. If you wanna do spicy, then use those. It's the same concept either way. Get one pound of your sausage out onto a cutting board and divide it into three sections. I use a third of a pound per egg, which is gonna make these big and fat, but I'm cooking to get fat and happy, so you do what you want in your kitchen. You could probably get away with a quarter pound. After pressing these one third pound chunks flat, put your jalapeno into the center and begin to work the meat around the jalapeno to cover all sides. And then I like to roll these on my cutting board to kind of give them that nice egg shape. Take a piece of bacon and wrap it long ways around your egg. Then take a piece of bacon and spiral it the opposite way around the egg. Doing this method will lock that first piece in place and help us to get full coverage over all the exposed meat. And if two pieces doesn't do it for you, go ahead and use a whole other third piece. But I ended up only needing about two and a half pieces per egg. Then you want to make sure that you kind of press and form this bacon along the armadillo egg. That way it doesn't come undone while cooking. Now our last and final step is to blast these with a little bit more of that holy gospel. And after this, we're ready to smoke. So after I took my cream cheese off of the smoker, I never shut it off, so I'm still rolling on that low smoke mode. We're gonna have these armadillo eggs suck in a lot of smoke in this one hour. Let's go ahead and open this up and get them on. All right, you guys, so our smoked armadillo eggs have been on the Rectech 1250 in that super smoke mode for one hour now. Now we are going to turn it up to 275 degrees. This is gonna allow our bacon to get nice and crispy. We're gonna get some heat on this. We wanna make sure that we 
we pull this at bare minimum 165 degrees internal temperature since we are using that ground pork. And then while I'm at it, I want to open up the smoker and take a look at these armadillo eggs. They're starting to form a really nice color, nice little crispiness on that bacon. While we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and rotate this rack just because I know smokers aren't perfectly even in heat distribution. So I just want to make sure that we get these cooked nice and evenly. Let's shut it down and I'll see you guys when we're ready to glaze. We've been rolling at 275 for 45 minutes now. I just opened up the smoker and I gave a little temperature check and we are hitting the high 150s. So that is the perfect time for us to glaze. So I poured out these glazes into a bowl and then I put them in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Then I took them out and now we are out here and we are ready to glaze. So let's go ahead and open up our smoker. And the first ones we're gonna glaze is our regulars. Got this regular barbecue sauce. We're just gonna paint on here. We don't really wanna do a super thick, heavy set right now. Kinda just wanna get a nice little bit of sauce. We're just gonna let that drizzle all over our eggs. Oh yeah, look at that. And then the goal here is to get this drizzled on. And we're just gonna let this sit on here for about a good 10 minutes. I'm not going to temperature at this point. The bacon is nice and crispy the exact way that I want it. Yeah, look at that, guys. You know you're gonna be eating really good when your food looks like this. And you always eat good when you're fat and happy. All right, so let's get our last one right here. You know, some people say I am the Bob Ross of barbecue. And by some people, I mean, I came up with that. I, I said that, nobody else did. I just kind of made up my own little name for myself. That's probably weird. You're probably really a big loser if you have to make up your own nicknames for yourself and nobody else gives them to you. Also, it's probably a sign that you have no friends. So now we're just gonna go ahead and give this a little spin. And I might be wearing a glove, but really I don't like to use them. I just like to burn my fingers. Now we're gonna get our spicy on. And if you notice, the spicy has a bit more red color to it. And that's just because uh, I feel like they use probably more like chili powder. Or, I don't know what they use in here, but the spices always have a bit more red in it. So we're just gonna drizzle this on here. Really nice, really flavorful. And a pro tip would be to actually take the rack out of the smoker, because right now I'm losing all of my heat and my pellet grill is probably working six times as hard to produce the heat and it's gonna make a bunch of smoke when I shut it because you're gonna have all those pellets going in there. So I would not advise doing what I'm doing right now. It's probably a really bad idea, but hey, you know, we all make bad ideas. What's up you guys? Welcome to the favorite part of my video where I get to eat what I have created. So now that we have our food right here in front of us, let's just go ahead and dig in. The first one that I'm gonna try is the one that is not spicy. So just holding on to this feels like I'm holding on to like a hot dog or something. I mean, this is big guys. This is not a like little tiny appetizer thing. Like this is probably more so along the lines of a full meal. I mean, this is just crazy. So let's go ahead and give this a bite. Mmm. There is just the ever so slight hint of spice that comes through from a little bit of the veins that were left inside of the jalapeno. But all the other flavors in here are so, so good. That barbecue sauce is phenomenal. The charred ends barbecue sauce. The smoked cream cheese mixture in here is phenomenal. Lights out money. That barbecue rub in there has a little bit of that sweet to it. Some of that salty and pepper. The sausage is amazing. It's just so good. Everything about this is awesome. Let's go ahead, do one more bite. So now I am very excited. Let's go ahead and try the spicy one. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite out of the big end this time. I went for the, the small one, like a little pansy last time. I'm thinking we're going for a big bite. Three, two, one, let's go. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Me personally, I'm a huge fan of spicy food, so this one is light. Out. That spicy barbecue sauce that is glazed on there just gives a little bit of that spicy, sticky flavor that really just gets like on your lips and your beard. You get to lick it off later. Let's go ahead, I'll give you guys one more bite. So overall, I would rate this 10 out of 10. This is a great recipe. If you make this for some sort of like party, like Super Bowl, football, Sunday, or summertime cookout, whatever it is that you're going to, this would be the thing that you wanna show up with. If you do, you will be the person that everybody wants, you know, 
to bring back more food. And me, that's what I always go for. Whenever I go to like a summer cookout or a party, I want to show up and show out. I'll spend a little bit more money, a little bit more time crafting these crazy, obscure things that nobody's ever had before just because I'd really like to please people with food. If you want to learn how to make another really awesome appetizer type dish, you can go ahead and click this video right here. And as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video no matter what time of day, night you have found it. And I will see you guys in my next crazy creation. Let's go.